Hi everyone, it is Monday night. It is Facebook Live at a piece of you. And it is cold enough that I can wear my swan show. Yay! Hi Heather, good to see you. We're gonna wait for everybody to get on. I know there was a lot of interest. People are sending me comments. Hi, Cindy, good to see you. We have lots of fun kits. And we do have a calendar change. Our next Facebook Live will be November 30th. It's a Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Hi, Mary, our drawing winner for this week. Hi, Linda. Thank you. I love this swancho. It's so fun and it's nice and warm. You know, it's 30 degrees outside and I am toasty in my swancho, but not too hot. Not too hot. Hi, Donna. Good to see you. We have so many good kits. Hi, Deb. And lots of good kits, lots of fun things. And I have a bunch of kits ready for November 30th. But don't worry, you can still buy tonight. So, um, because, you know, we want to make sure we can get shipping and all that. Hi, Serena. Serena says hi, Marilyn and Angie. Hi, hi Jennifer. Hi, Ginny. Good to see everybody. Now, remember, when you do your comments for what you're looking for, make sure you put each item on a line, okay? Um, it's easier for tech support to see them. And also, when she gives you a thumbs up or no thumbs up, you know which one you got. If you had five in a line and we give you a thumbs up, you could think that you got all of them. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Deb. Hi, Kathy. That's why we do that, partly. Um, hi, Chris. Lots of people I haven't seen in a while. Yay! Oh, my goodness. Lynn is already ready. We haven't even started yet, Lynn. She's, she said oops. <laughs> she's so excited for tonight don't worry we'll get there we'll get there I'm not even sure oh we do have a J okay we were like we don't even know what kit you're talking about but we'll get there don't worry and I'm gonna try and do it in the right order tonight um, so everything is un well except for the poncho everything is like under $45 so not a bad deal most of them have a pattern that comes with it. Just let us know if you need the pattern because I print those off at home because my printer at home is a lot faster than the printer here. If you've been in the store and ordered a pattern, you know it takes forever to print. So that's why I do that. Hi, Beth. Hi, Lisa. We got lots of people on tonight. Whoops. Hang on. Just gave me up a whole bunch of stuff. Hi, Sheila. Lynn. Whoops, now I lost all the comments. Oh, oh, come back. Sorry. All right. Hi, Carol. Good to see you. We miss you at Open Knitting. Um, all right. Let's, hi, Beth. Good to see you. Lots of people I haven't seen in a while. Hi, Sue. I'm so glad you guys are telling me you are here. I love that. All right. Let's get Cheryl's on. Perfect. It must be cold and dark in Michigan because everybody's on Facebook Live tonight. So let's get started. And let me grab this. Marilyn's here at the ready. She is waiting to pull. We are going to start with Pick a Pop. This is where we were supposed to start yesterday or the other day. Hi, Pam. Uh, Thursday morning, 1030 to 1230. Um, hi Stephanie, good to see you. We are doing pick a pop. Marilyn made this one. She said it was pretty easy. Um, and it is done in the round. And I have a few kits left. The problem with being open the day that we do the Facebook Lives is sometimes some things disappear, but I think we have everything here. The pick a pop is $30. You're going to use a US 4. It is a pay for pattern on Ravelry. We have done this kit before, but everybody was really interested in it, so I wanted to show you again. Um, it's a US 4 needle. 
I have kit C. I have kit D. Hi, Marcy. I have kit E, which is the cotton one, and I have two of those. I have kit G, and I have kit H, and I think H is a sleeper. I think this one is going to be really, really pretty. Um, it's $30, and it is sock yarn, too. So if you wanted to make sock yarn, it is the equivalent of a skein of sock yarn is what you have been given. It is, uh, we divvied up sock yarn into four um, batches. So that is what that is. All of these have nylon in them, even the cotton ones. Um, and I just think these are really, really pretty. So this is Pick a Pop. It is a cowl because it is joined in the back. Yeah. Cindy, you're way too early for rulers. Sorry. Till about here, it starts. It's flat. It's flat till about here, and then you join you it. Join it, and it's an easy thing. And it's really easy. Marilyn did this one, and I'm a um, master knitter. <laughs> and so she really enjoyed this one, and everybody loves it in the store. Okay, so that one is thirty dollars, and we've already. Otherwise, you would have had to. Oh, your cat did that. Perfect, Cindy. Um, I'm going to have to get my cat to learn how to type. Hi, Joy. Pick a pop pattern. Okay, got it. Yes. Um, and because Linda got a kit today in the store, but she didn't know if we needed the pattern or not. So, um, so these are the pick a pop. And hi, Diane, I haven't seen you in forever. Good to see you. Um, this is a fun one. I think it'll make a great gift. I think it makes a, a really nice statement. It's kind of a sampler because you have stripey, you have eyelets, you have some more eye, different eyelets. You have just some ribbing type thing you have some stripes you have some cables all that kind of fun things this part so. made me nervous i was a little leery about that but it turned out to be so easy and intuitive because you can just follow along what you did the row before see so hopefully you guys all heard marilyn and that is perfect so and don't worry we come back to the very beginning and go through them again hi carol hi sherry Hi, Tina. Good to see you guys. If you ever see a kit that you like, please make sure you give me um, a little bit of thumbs up and stuff like that, and we will give you more of these types of projects. We don't usually repeat them too often. The next one is a shawl that we don't have a sample for, but I don't think we really need a sample. This is Felicitous. You just have to call it shawl. And I'm going to take it out of the plastic because the glare is really bad. Okay. This one does have different sections. Some of you may have looked at it. Um, but she explains to you, Jay. We gotcha. Uh, Jay, got to pull it off the table. Got it, Lynn. These are two skeins of sock yarn one is a variegated one is a solid as you can see and that is what they used in this pattern was one variegated one solid and we thought it would be really pretty we, there is plenty of yarn for each of these and um in your kits so what do we have we have kit a and I think that one's really pretty, and it actually goes really well with the turtleneck that's right next to it. We have Kit B, which is a little quieter. It's shades of brown. Very pretty. Kit C is shades of gray with a pop of red. And what we did was we took the... Let me pull this out so you guys can see. We took the KFI Indulgence 4-ply sock and each one of these kits has a different color of this yarn in it and then we put a coordinating color with it and most of them you can just make socks with it if you'd like you don't have to make the shawl but we like the shawl the shawl is 43 dollars. So you're going to use a us6 the kit does include the pattern 
It is approximately 72 inches from tip to end, and it is 16 inches deep. It looks a little longer than that. And we really liked, let's see, it's on the back, I think. Nope, it's, it's underneath here. Nope. Um, hang on. Did I really? Yep. I did. Okay. Here it is. Marilyn watches over me. That's why Marilyn's here. <laughs> She's a good watcher over. There we go. That's what I wanted to show you guys. This is what it looks like when you drape it around, and that's what caught us the attention. It does have eyelets. It has baubles. You don't have to do the baubles if you don't want to. You don't have to do the eyelets if you don't want to. It just breaks it up and gives you something different to do. And she does explain it and all of that kind of stuff. Hi, Deb. Good to see you. And Sandy's on. Let's see. What else do I have? If you're a U of M fan, I have Kit D, which is navy and gold. I have Kit E. Deb, you might like this one. This is Kit E. And it is a charcoal gray with this rusty orange that has charcoal gray in it. It's very pretty. Um... This one is G as in George, and that lime green just makes it pop because it has that lime green in it. How cool is that? Now, if you want something a little more subtle, H is where you go because it does have that little bit of green in there. If I get close, see, you, see how it has that little bit of green? Very pretty. I like K. I think K is fun. And it's got that fun green with it. And then M is the first one we made. G. Do we have another G? Okay. We got you, Jennifer. And this one is M. And these two go perfectly together. This was the first one that we actually put together. And if I get the camera a little farther away, you can actually see the colors. Mm, surprise, surprise. Um... So this one is really fun. It's really pretty. I only have one each of this one and K. Yep. Yeah, those two are onesies. Hi, Tracy. Good to see you tonight. We are coming to you from a piece of view in Bay City, Michigan. We are showing you the Felicitous shawl pattern, and we're showing you kits. These kits are $43, and they do include the pattern very very pretty very very pretty we will come back to them because i know sometimes people don't get the first items because they want something else all right we are getting to the kate poncho and as you can see i still have my marker on the back i didn't take that off because i wanted to tell you why i had it there when i knit this i put a marker on the right side so i would know the difference because you really can't tell once you get going because it's a basket weave pattern and this one is really fun it is made out of juniper moon beatrix it's kind of our yarn for the month and it is a merino angora blend it is one of my favorite yarns and if i get far enough away you can actually see the poncho this one was the small your kit can go up to the large I suggest the large just because it's super easy. It's just a long rectangle that you are going to sew together on the side. And then you're going to pick up and put a neck on it if you like. Hi, Nikki. Good to see you. And these, your kit will include six skeins of Juniper Moon Beatrix, which is light as a feather and so pretty. It includes either the pattern for the poncho, the Kate poncho, or you can get the hat and scarf pattern, either one, and they both take about the same amount of yarn. Um, this one, the hat and scarf actually takes one skein less, but I think the scarf is actually too short. So I would just keep going through uh let's see this kit was supposed to be 132 dollars. it is on sale tonight for 120 what colors do i have i have this beautiful light blue color it's called sky i have a really pretty pink i have color three which is tan 
I have four, which is an ivory color. We have white down, but it is ivory. We have five, which is marble or light gray. I made a sweater with the next color, which is dark gray slate. Very pretty. There is a little bit of nylon in this. This is actually a washable yarn, believe it or not. I would do it in cold. Lay it flat to dry. I have number eight, which is navy. And this is a beautiful navy. It is a true navy. So pretty. Hi, Carol. Hi, Janice. I have red. And I do have gold. Okay. So one of our kits did sell. And so that color is missing. But I have these kits. They're very pretty. I think this poncho took me a weekend to make. It was super fast because you're using it like a size 11 and um, super easy. They do have you do the neck with a 10 and a half. And for whatever reason, you do this part with a 10 and a half too. I'm not really sure why. So that is the scoop. Somebody likes this, but nobody's buying it. I don't know why. It's perfect for this type of weather when it's just a little chilly, but you don't want a lot on you. Now, I am going to show you one thing about this. It does have an off-center point in the front, but it doesn't have a point in the back. It goes straight across in the back, and I think that's very flattering. You don't have all that fabric behind you that you have to sit on, okay? So those are our Kate Poncho kits. Lots of fun. On sale for $120. That's $12 off. All right. We are going to move on to our Selena shawl. This one does need a cable needle. That's why I have one in there. And this one is about 84 inches wide and about 15 inches deep. And... Um, so really pretty, really fun, and it's an Espas Trico pattern, so it should be easy. A cream. And what colors do I have? I have white, which is 4300, and I left the white and the cream here. And see there, you can see the difference. There is a little bit of difference. They're both beautiful. I think the cream looks more like an Aran weights or Aran sweater. Hi, Pat. And 4317, which we. 170, Deb? That would be. Oh, I have 170, which is the dark gray. Is that the one you're looking for? One of them sold. The purple one is gone. If you're looking for the purple one, it is not here anymore. Um, Deb, if you can let us know if it's 43170, the dark gray. I did was able to add two colors to our repertoire because we did lose two of the colors um, today. I did get a light gray, which is 43108. And I have one black, which is 4334. It's called cast iron, and it's, it's pretty black. Um, but I think it would be really pretty, too. This is three skeins of Barocco Ultra Wool. Um, yes, the dark gray. Got it. Um, so that's 170. Um, this kit is $39. The pattern is included if you would like it. It's three skeins of Ultra Wool Chunky from Barocco, which is wash and dryable. That's always fun, too. I think this will make a great shawl, a great gift. Um, the, oh, can you take the pattern out, please? Tech Support was here cleaning up the area this afternoon, and she put everything in a sleeve. And I had it out to show you what it looks like. This is how it looks in... So it's kind of like the tassels in the sky shawl. You don't have to put the tassels on if you don't want. They're put on afterwards. Hi, Judy. Good to see you. 
and it's I think it's really kind of fun so their patterns are easy to follow and all that good stuff so what colors do I have I have 4300 which is white I have 4301 which is cream I have 4310 which is this pretty light pink I have 4312 which is kind of a butter color I have 4326, which is kind of a maroon, um, marine blue. 43170 is a dark gray. I think that one's pretty. 4350 is a true red. It's not quite as neon as my phone is showing. I have 4334, which is black. And I have 43108, which is a light gray. You will need a cable needle for this unless you know how to do it without doing that. I haven't perfected that yet. So, okay. So, those are $39 and three skeins of yarn. You can always buy the kit and make three hats. Perfect idea. Each one of these yarns is 100% superwash wool and 145 yards. It is wash and dryable. So, that's what makes it a good gift. All right, I did find a little pattern for a cup cozy with um, cables on it. And these are, we're using Knitted Wit Double Bubble. And these are $5 a piece. And they have fun little names, but we put numbers on them because they were easier than writing all the fun numbers. Cozy Color 5. Oh, got it. All right, so I have color one, which is a pink. Plum. Plum. I have a couple plums. I have orchid. I have madge. Carol, are we looking for color nine? Are we looking for color 14? Are we looking for 12, which is a little more pink? Or are we looking for color 11? Three is gone. Eleven for Carol. Twelve for Jennifer. Fifteen. Just because I say it doesn't mean that you get it. Um, tech support gets the final say. Whatever comes through tech support is the one that we are going to do. The reason people are answering so quickly when I haven't even shown you the colors is because they watch the preview. We do a preview at least one to two days before. And so what do we have? We have color one. We have color four, which is called, called peanut brittle and it actually looks like peanut brittle. We have six, which is a true yellow. We have seven which is a little lighter than it looks. There's seven. We have eight, which is an electric royal blue. I have nine, which is an orchid color. I have 10, which this one is called, let me see what it's called. Oh, Sakura. Um, and that one is really pretty, though. It's kind of a mauve lavender-y kind of color. I have 11, which is really a pretty purple. I have 12, which is a darker pink. I have 13, which is kind of a teal blue. Yes, it is a teal blue. I have 14, which is called Madge, and I have no idea why it's called Madge, but it's kind of a, a light burgundy. How's that? And I have 16, which is a light blue. All right. So I have one. These are $5 a piece. I have one. I have four. I have six, seven, eight, nine. I have 10. Let us know if you need the pattern. This one is 11, 12, 13, 14, and 16. Hi, Linda. Good to see you. Hi, Vani. 
I didn't see you before you started saying, I want all these colors for the cup cozy. So these are really fun. And I need a J. Felicitas shawl. Hi, Heather. Jennifer needs a pattern for a cup cozy. We're out of J. J is gone, Heather. Um... I don't have a 10 or a J. I do have, what was J? J. Yeah, J went really fast. Um, I have these colors. I have M, I have K, I have H, I have G, I have E, I have D, C, B, and A, which is, A is one of my favorite ones. Um, and it looks really good with the purple turtleneck we have right next to it. So think about those. Um, Jay went right off the bat. So we only had one of those. And I can't even make any more because I don't have any more of that yarn. All right. So those were our cup cozies. Don't worry, I will make a run through real quick when we get done with all of this. All right, we have a couple notions this week. We have the pattern, let's see, the, what are these? Needle view sizers. So it's a needle gauge with a view sizer. That red bar there in the middle is a magnifier. And that makes the easy to read your gauge. These are 650. And I think they are great. Even if you have a needle gauge thing, it has a ruler on it. It has, um, you know, your needle gauge, all that good stuff. So these are fun, great stocking stuffers. I think they're going to go fast. One, two, three, and I have one left. I don't have any left. Don't worry, guys, if you missed them this time, I will order more. I didn't know if they would go over, and I guess they did. So I'll order more. They'll be on an upcoming Facebook Live. So, all right. But never fear. We're waiting for tech support to catch up. Did you know we got a whole bunch of new pom-poms in? Yes, we did. Just thought I'd tell you that. Um... Two sets of magnets. Two. Yep. I will do that, Mary. Is that the number that is in the system? If it is, that is not a problem. Are you ready yet? She'll be done in a second. Did you know we, that they now have a new 150 gram skein color from Blue Sky? They did Loon Lake in 150 gram skein. That is brand new. And we are very excited because we love the 150 gram skeins because you have fewer ends to put in. All right. I think tech support is ready. All right, we will do that, Serena. Um, okay, we are doing the magnets. These are the replacement magnets for the pattern holders. And there are two long ones, as you can see, and two short ones. And they are 650. And these are handy. I have an extra set because I had a board that didn't work right. So, um, but these are fantastic and another good stocking stuffer. Um, and I know everybody needs pattern holder magnets. So we do have new pattern holders in. So if you need some, let us know because we do have some pattern holders. We just got a new shipment in. So we are getting ready for the Christmas season, the holiday gift giving season, and it's always a good filler. 
Uh, you know, when those husbands come in and say, what can I get my wife? Well, now we'll get you a pattern holder and um, replacement magnets. And like I've told most people, I did cut one of my magnets and so that it, it's more usable for me. And so they are, you can cut them. They're cuttable. I don't even know if that's a real word. But um, these are 650 and I think they're great. They're super useful and um, everybody needs some. So, all right, so we're caught up with that. Now, we do have a, our last Christmas Knitted Wit Sock Yarn. Um, this is our last one for this year. We will get more next year, but this is Sassy Santa, and it is really cool. So one, if you missed the one last week, or if you just want another Christmassy sock yarn from Knitted Wit, I think these are great. And if I put it in my hand, then somebody buys it. So that's really cool. These are Superwash worst or worsted, haha. <laughs> these are Superwash Merino sock yarn. Marilyn's going, they're sock yarn. <laughs> She's whispering in my ear kind of loudly, like, uh, hello. It's 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon, uh, 420 yards. She does suggest hand washing, even though they're superwash. Um, but I think this color is cute, and Sassy Santa is all about what this is. So very fun, very pretty. This is our last one until January. Okay, our last knitted wet sock yarn until January. So, um, yes. So, we have just a few of those left. They are 33, and you have plenty to make a pair of socks or, you know, a shawl or something like that. And I think they'll be really pretty. So, all right. We have our soundtrack cowl. And this is one of Elizabeth Smith's patterns. It's very fun. Linda did do the research. It's $5 for the sweater and $5 for the cowl. So it doesn't help you to buy the ebook. Uh, cowl number five. Um, yep, yeah, there you go. Uh, seven. And these are fun. It is two skeins of Barocco Ultra Alpaca. There is not um, the color I have my sample of, of course, as I was knitting the sample. It is now gone. Um, Katie, we got you a seven. These are $26. We need another seven. Got it. Seven is gone. How about a one? It is very quick. I knit mine in like a weekend, so... Um, yep. Yeah. And very fun. It's a slip stitch, so it's not fair aisle, anything like that. It's super easy. And color one. We got one more. Yep, got one more. It's it's nice on the inside. There's nothing to no floats or anything like that. Very nice. It's nice and warm. Um Ultra Alpaca is a Peruvian wool alpaca blend. Very nice. And we tried to pick contrasting and coordinating colors. Okay, so this is what we have. We have kit one, green and purple, one of my favorite combos. I have kit two, which this one I think is going to be beautiful because this color is in the heathered of the second color. And you see you use both. Um, equally so that is very fun cowl three is kind of shades of green and gray there we go that shows you it's really pretty we had someone looking for that at that one today that one was cowl three cowl four if you like brown this is light brown and medium brown perfect um, cowl five is one of my favorites. Cowl one, please. One is gone. Yep. Cowl five is one of my favorites because I love the name of this one. It's called Lobster Mix. Who would guess? Very fun. Cowl six 
is kind of a French blue with a creamy white. I love cowl six. It's really going to show up nicely. Three. Cowl eight is shades of purple. I don't know if Janet's on, but she loves purple. And this one is really pretty. One's a heathery, one's a solid. Very pretty. That one is color eight. Color nine is a teal and a navy. It's a teal and a navy. There we go. That looks a little closer to what it is. The teal is a little darker than that, but I think it's really pretty. And that one is nine. I only have one of those. Ten is a red heather with a light gray. That is ten. I only have one of those. Eleven looks better in person. It's not showing up on the phone as well. This one is eleven, and they're both heathers. Very pretty. And cowl 12 is, you know, just a favorite, red and navy. How can you lose? It's very similar to mine, only it's red and navy instead of red and gray. So very pretty. Those are, how much are those? I'll tell you, $26. Uh, the pattern on Ravelry is $5 and the kit is $26. So we have 12, we have 11, we have 10, we have 9, we have 8, we have 6, we have 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 is sold out. Okay. I am going to tell you if you're watching this in the replay, please message me and let me know and I'll be happy to pull a cowl for you or any of the other kits that we have here today. Cowl 10. Yes. Did you get Deb switched? Got it. So what did she have? She had seven. She had seven. So let's bring seven back up. Please. Cowl 10 is gone, Donna. Oh, flip it the other way. There you go. Cowl 10 is gone. Deb just got that one. But I do have a Cowl 7 that just showed up. That one is pretty. It's kind of a burgundy and a navy. Very pretty. That one is Cowl 7. Okay. All right. Those are the Cowls. Let us know, Donna, if you want a replacement color. Because 10 is gone. If you don't get a thumbs up, it means you did not get your choice. Someone else got it instead of you. Sorry. It's however they come into tech support. That just seemed to be the easiest way. All right. Our last kit before I go through the rest of them is the Kaleido scarf. And this one is a, what is this? This is a blend of something. Let me tell you. Hang on. It is 80% acrylic, 10% mohair, 10% nylon. I wouldn't even think that it was acrylic. Um, the mohair does not go up your nose. 301. Uh, we don't have a 301. Betty, sorry. 301 is... Oh, she wanted a 302. She also wanted a 301, but we don't have 301. Betty, are you looking for this one, 302? Mary Hall would like a 302 also. What this is, is it's going to be, okay, got it. Um, it's going to be color blocked. I didn't get to work on this one too much. I was working on some chemo hats. Um, but it is super easy. If you want to do the scarf, it's cast on 86 stitches using a US 6 a knit two purl two rib so you're going to knit two purl two across you're going to start with a purl two when you come back um, but very soft very luscious you might even be able to get two scarves out of one ball and what colors do i have 304 i have 300 sometimes they don't start the way this is okay i'm just going to tell you that 302. Sometimes this one might start with navy on the outside or navy on the inside. It's just however they're put together. I did go from the inside. Somebody asked me that. I did go from the inside of mine because it sat on my lap easier. 303. Very pretty. 
magnets. 304, 305, 306, 307. 307 is also the one that is done in our crocheted shawl sample. We can also get you one of these patterns also if you are not interested in making the scarf. 308, this is one of my favorites, but it wasn't in when I made mine. 309, I think looks like fall in a ball. And 310, I can't even imagine. This one is so much fun, these colors. Hi, Ellen, good to see you. This one is 310. There is 900 and I wanna say 984 yards in a skein. I know some people, 307, and the crochet pattern, which is up above. Nope, to the right, to the right, to the right. There you go. Got it. Um, I did see a few people have made sweaters with this yarn. It is a DK weight, hence the reason I'm using a six. And you really would only need two balls for a sweater. What colors are in 308? Look at all these fun colors. It's like a burgundy, some grays, um, kind of a neutral, an orange. It kind of looks like a sunset. Isn't that pretty? Really, really it's pretty. Different version of that it. one is the same color, just a, starts in a different spot. So that one is 308, Heather. Very fun. Um, I like this yarn. It does not, you don't have a whole bunch of junk in your lap. Um, it's really soft. Nothing's floating in the air. You know, the old mohair used to do that. Um, I think they've learned since then. And this one doesn't have a huge amount of mohair. And so it's just super nice and soft. And it's really soft and squishy. I can't wait to get mine done. And it's good brainless knitting. You know, if you have to go to dance recitals or any of that kind of stuff, that end of the year grandkid stuff, this is a perfect project to take with you. Um, it's also a good project if you need something brainless. Okay. So those are the colors there. Let me go back to the beginning because I see we have a few people that are on late. And we do have some pick-a-pops left. The pick-a-pop cowl, very fun. It is knit flat and then it's joined and you knit it in the round. And very fun. It's kind of a sampler type of idea, but the instructions are very easy to follow. I have, this is $30. I have kit C. I have kit D. I have kit E, which is all cotton. Hi, Diane. I have kit G, and I have kit H. Okay, the pattern is $7 on Ravelry. You are using a size four needle. We have the Felicitous Shawl, and this one uses a size six. Pick a pop G. Ooh, that's my favorite. Um, this one is two skeins of sock yarn. And Ginny, do you, would you like a different color for your kit? Because G is gone. I have C. I have D. D would be pretty too. I have E. And I think H is going to be just so pretty. I got one of these waiting at home to knit. Marilyn has an H waiting at home to knit. And I think these are really, really pretty. I think this one's going to be, see how these colors, they didn't really look like they went together. And look at how pretty they are. When they were in the little bag, they did not look like they went together. So Marilyn, stop playing with it. <laughs> they want to see the whole shawl. She keeps the playing hardest, with it. The hardest part is deciding where to start. So, yes, she said the hardest part was to pick the color that you would start with. So I have H, I have E. Now these are cotton, but it, this one that Marilyn made was cotton too, and it was nice. Um, it's a nice feel to it and all that kind of stuff. It does have 
nylon in it. I do have D left, which has some purples in it. See how that one has purples in it? And then that pink with some hot pink in it. And then the blue, very cool. I think this one's pretty. So we have, and C is really pretty. We were looking at C today. And the top color has all the colors that are down below. So it has the white, it has the orange, and it has the pinks. Very cool, this one is C. So very cool, and those are $30. Uh, you're gonna use a US-4, and we do have some US-4s in, in stock. The Felicitas shawl, I know, Diane, it's so cute. It's really pretty, it wraps really nicely. It's one skein of a variegated yarn and one solid. These are $43. I have A, I have B, I have C, I have D, I have E. E is really cool. I like E. Somebody needs to buy E because that's cool. I have G, and I love that lime that pops out. I think it's going to knit up really pretty. I have H. H is kind of a sleeper. It's a little quieter. I have K and I have M. I'm surprised no one's bought M because I thought M was the freshest one. That was the first kit I picked out. That is the Felicitas shawl. You just have to say shawl and the letter. It does include the pattern if you'd like. This one uses a size six needle. It's, um, it's, it's long enough to wrap. It looks really nice. So, we have the Kate Poncho. Like I said, it's straight across the back. It does have an off-center point in the front, and but it's not super long. Like, I'm not very tall, and this one would be just fine for me. Or we can include the hat and scarf pattern for you, and either or. We can do either pattern for you. These kits are on sale for $120. They were $132. I have this real pretty light blue. I have the pink, I have the tan, I have the ivory, I have light gray, I have dark gray. This one I just finished a sweater out of and it's beautiful. I have the navy and if nobody buys the navy, I may have to take the navy myself because this is my favorite yarn this year. I love this yarn. It is super soft and squishy. It's a chainette construction, so it's really light and airy, and it's almost like the Angora's been poofed into it because it doesn't weigh anything at all. It's a chunky. You're going to use an 11 needle. It's going to take you a weekend. Um, I have red, and I do have gold for the poncho. Okay? You don't have to make either one. You can just make six hats out of one of these kits and that's not a bad price either this yarn is normally a lot more expensive than that okay i do have the selena shawl this is made out of barocco ultra wool chunky three skeins it's an espas trico pattern and so that is really um a nice pattern to work with and if you'd like the pattern, it is um, included. And if somebody can give me a comment or something, because it looks like I'm frozen. Um, this kit is $39. And I have white, which is $4,300. Thanks. I have cream, which is $4,301. I like the cream and the white because they would look like an Aran sweater. Because doesn't that look like it would be a sweater from Ireland? I have the light pink, I have the yellow, I have the blue, I have the medium gray, I have the red, I have the black, and we added the black and the light gray. Those are brand new colors. Um, so those are fun. Cream, which is 4301. Mm -hmm. And those are fun. Um, and worst case, you don't make the shawl. You make three pairs of the woodland loafers that we did in this Sharon earlier this fall. Um, very nice. This is a machine wash and dry yarn. Super nice. 
We love this yarn. It's soft and squishy. There's 145 yards in a skein. Okay. We do have the... Hi, Kim. We are doing... Oh, Selena in blue. 43.26. We have um, also the Cup Cozy from Tin Can Knits. And we are showing it in double bubble. So we... Because the names are too long to type in, we gave them numbers. So I have color one. These are $5. It's enough to make one of these little cup cozies, which is super fun and easy. Um, it does say you need 50 yards. Most people used less than 40. These are 40 yards, okay? Um, this one is color four color six, color seven, color eight, color nine. This one is really an electric blue, it's cool. Other shawl G. Um, that is the Felicitas. We gotcha. I have color 10, I have color 11, color 12, color 13, color 14 and color 16. So these are $5 a piece and I think these make great little stocking stuffers even if you just give the pattern and the yarn to someone, okay? They are going to use a size five needle and a cable needle and that's it. All right, we have somebody who is looking for the magnets. So we are going to do magnets. These are the replacement magnets for the pattern holders. If you need a pattern holder, when we call you, we're happy to tell you what colors we have. We have black paisley and we have one of the new blossoms. Um, very pretty. These replacement magnets, they have two long magnets, two short magnets, and they are wonderful. If you have one of the basic magnet boards like we all had when we were like eight and embroidering these will work with those too so yes mary we will we just have to get done with our video first um we have our last knitted wit color of the year and this one is sassy santa and it is a christmas yarn and i only have a couple of these left and these are 33 this is a really nice superwash worst, or I keep calling it superwash worsted. Superwash fingering weight, and there is nylon in this, so you can make socks with this. Very cool. It will variegate. Okay. Sassy Santa. I was wondering where you were, Cheryl. You usually get one of those. So those, that is Sassy Santa. Very fun. Very cool. All right. We have the soundtrack cowl. And yeah, we caught you. I didn't even see that it was typed wrong. This soundtrack cowl from Elizabeth Smith, it's super easy, super fun. And you use two colors of magnets. Um, two colors of Barocco Ultra Wool. These are $26, the pattern is five. Cowl two. Do you have a cowl two? Yep. Yep. Now, we do have some backup cowls kits behind me, so that's why Marilyn isn't necessarily taking them off the table. I have cowl two, I have cowl three, I have four, I have five, I have six, I now have seven, I have eight. Where are my purple people tonight? I have nine, I have 11, and I have 12. That's what I have left. These kits are $26. It's 50% alpaca, 50% Peruvian wool. Super nice and soft. 219 yards in a skein. You have more than enough to make this cowl. And it's very fun. My last kit for the day. And then I will stop talking. Cowl 3, Marilyn. Is the Kalito Scarf. Um, I have, there's 984 yards in a skein. It is a, 
acrylic mohair nylon blend and it's but you wouldn't know any of that is in it it's super soft and squishy i would have thought it was alpaca to tell you the truth i have 300 they are color blocked so you see how the gradient kind of comes out in different lengths of blocking i have color 300 i have 302 303 304 305 306 307 308 309 and 310 oh good joanne you have a package here too to pick up so that would be good we are open until three we will start calling you guys at nine tomorrow um and we will go from there and we have these guys really fun i used a size six needle for my scarf it is a nice brainless one i did a two by two rib you could do a four by two you could do anything you want it's super nice um, i like the width of this it's nice and scrunchy um you know and it's soft i did i was saying in the preview i put markers every time i sat down to work on it just because that made me feel like I had done something, okay? Because it is just a basic thing to um, um, knit up. No, I don't have any gray pumpkin knitwit left. It is gone. Um, knitted wit usually sells out as soon as we get it in. I do have a couple of the Sassy Santas left. That's all I have in knitted wit left. So, hi, Tammy. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. So that is our story today. Um, we will be on again on the 30th of November, which is a Tuesday. I am going out of town in December, so that's why we're on a funny night. And um, for a Facebook Live, it'll be a Tuesday night at 7 p.m. We will do a sneak peek probably the day before, and we will go from there. We also have some great um, Black Friday specials and Small Business Saturday specials, so make sure you watch for those. Our new store hours are 10 to 3, Monday through Saturday, so make sure you stop in or give us a call, or we're happy to help you out. Um, if you're watching this in a replay, please, if you could, put replay so I know to um, pull your yarn when I get to the store. That is our scoop today. Thanks for watching, and we will see you again soon. Talk to you later. Bye.